Hello, Hope Grace. This is a cuckoo clock from Geneva, Switzerland. On my way back from the Central African Republic one time, I stopped in and went through and picked out one that I wanted to bring home. And of course, it lets you know uh, when the cuckoo comes out, what time it is. And that's uh, something we want to discuss uh, this morning. Uh, what about time? What is it time for in our lives? What is, it, what is time for in our church family? And let's look at some verses related to that. So what is it time for in our lives, in the life of our church, in our personal lives as Christians? In Matthew uh, 24, verse 42 uh, through 46, it says this, Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come, referring to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready because the Son of Man will come in an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom the master has put in charge of the servants in his household to give them their food at the proper time? It is the it will be good for that servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns. What time is it? Well, it's time for us to realize that the Lord Jesus Christ can come back at any moment. We, didn't, we don't know when, uh, and it's going to be different than what we might expect, obviously. But it is those of us who will receive his blessing his well done, good and faithful servant, who have rearranged their priorities to live like he's coming, to be ready, in other words, like he's coming, um, to be looking, to be ready, to know that living our lives is not just uh, a futile or a useless way of living uh, when we're living for him, but it leads to a, a blessing of having uh, his blessing on us when he comes and finds us living the way that he wants us to, according to his word, living the way uh, with a biblical worldview of how we view our, uh, our world, our families, everything around us, the culture, the world, whatever might be going on, uh, serving him, loving him, and being those uh, hands and feet and words of witness to people about his love and about the gospel. So it's time for us to be ready, whether we're individual or we are at a church family. Uh, it's not uh, something that we do just because we're uh, a social enterprise or that because we're supposed to, uh, that because it's just habit or uh, we want to get back to out of this pandemic. No, it's because we want to be ready. We want to love each other. We want to love him. We want to serve him. And I encourage you today to ask yourself, am I ready? Am I living like I am ready? Uh, will it be the element of surprise and the Lord finding me uh, not caring about him and what he wants me to do? Or will he find me focused on him and living for him? Uh, let that sink in today and think about how you prioritize your day and reprioritize your life. And I will try to redo that myself. Um, and to keep him knowing that I've got to look at the right time. And the right time is that he could come at any time. Encourage yourself and live for that. Love you guys. See you on Sunday.